Hey guys, let's make the most amazing vanilla bean souffle. This is actually my husband's absolute favorite dessert. I make it all the time in different flavors. Let me show you how to get it right the first time. So let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need two small ramekins or one large ramekin. It's totally up to you. You're gonna butter it very well on all sides. Add one tablespoon of sugar, spread it evenly all over. Now I'm gonna work on the batter, but first I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And by the time the oven is hot, the batter is gonna be ready to be baked. I'm gonna start by separating two large eggs. 66 to 70 grams for each egg is about right. Have your eggs be at room temperature for the ultimate results. Separate the eggs, the egg white in a bowl and the egg yolks in a different bowl. Start with the egg yolks, add one tablespoon of granulated sugar, whisk a little bit. I'm gonna split open one vanilla bean Take all the seeds, scrape them out and add them on top of the eggs and sugar. If you don't have that, you can add vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, that'll be sufficient. I will add half a cup of milk. It's best if all your ingredients are at room temperature. Whisk as well. And as always, you'll find all the amounts and all the ingredients in cups and grams in the description box below so check it out and because souffle is mostly whipped eggs i make sure to add more flavor i'm gonna add one tablespoon of grand marnier and it's an orange liquor half a teaspoon of vanilla extract this will elevate the flavor but i understand if you don't like alcohol just skip this step add the flour cook at medium heat Keep on whisking until it thickens and temperature is almost 166 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn the heat off, add the tablespoon of butter and whisk well as well. Move to a different bowl, cover with plastic wrap and let it cool just a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna work on the egg whites. So as you can see, it's not a large amount. By the time you work on the egg whites, you're gonna be able to work and finish the souffle. So cover it, set it aside. Start whipping the egg whites, adding the sugar gradually. I don't like to over whip the egg whites. Softer peaks are more recommended. It will take about a minute. I'm gonna stop right there, quite enough. The mixture has cooled quite a bit. I'm gonna whisk it a little bit and start incorporating the egg whites ever so gently. I don't wanna deflate the batter. I wanna keep it light and airy. So I'm gonna incorporate it ever so gently, just like so. You can use a whisk very gently or you can use a rubber spatula and fold it in and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube yet please do so follow me on social media the links are in the description box below hit the notification bell as well so that you will be informed whenever i upload a video and if you do exactly the same thing i did you're gonna end up with the lightest nicest shape souffle ever the trick here is to fill the souffle cup or ramekin to the top. Smooth it out using a spatula. And if you have an extra batter, just place in another small ramekin. Make sure to butter and sugar as well. You're gonna bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This oven's been preheating for a while. Place in the oven between 10 to 15 minutes. Mine was perfect at 12 minutes. And while this happens, I am gonna work on a very quick creme anglaise that is so easy. 
you are gonna love it simply add one egg yolk I'm gonna scrape the rest of the vanilla bean add one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste add two tablespoons of Grand Marnier if you don't like to use Grand Marnier just add one teaspoon of vanilla extract add two tablespoons of sugar one cup of heavy whipping cream and whisk the whole thing then turn the heat on and let it come to a boil and thicken a little bit it should coat the back of a wooden spoon nicely this is when you need to turn the heat off so let it boil for two to three minutes this is gonna be a very nice creamy sauce it's gonna complement the souffle very very well just make sure to keep on whisking at all times you can strain the whole thing at the end but if you're confident there are no lumps you don't have to it's the most exciting feeling when your souffle is a success perfect rise I'm gonna remove from the oven it's golden all over it's risen nicely and now it's ready to be served as soon as possible I'm gonna dust with a little bit of powdered sugar I'm gonna make some coffee make a slit in the middle and add as much or as little sauce as you like perfection i hope you give it a try it's the most amazing dessert when done right and until next time my friends bon appetit so so good look at that heavenly